at Wollaton Hall and if you see in the distance there that is what they used in Dark Knight Rises filming location for Batman's house fantastic and just about there if we look down there we can see Yeah, it is rutting season, so we've got to be very careful. Uh, that'll do just for now. Thank you. Okay, Urban Yeti Hunters on location searching for magical gnomes. Yes, folks, you heard it right. Magical gnomes. Can't believe it. Anyway. Uh, it seems to be following the running man. No following the running man, thank you. So on the 23rd of September 1979, half a dozen primary school children, whilst playing at this very park, say they saw lots of gnome type people, that's right, like garden gnome people, in cars with no engines, no steering wheels, weren't making any sound, yet they were managing to boost along at something like 50 or 60 miles an hour. Now this event took place in what was at the time, I think, a restricted area of the park. And they all said they shouldn't really have been where they were. It says it was like a lake area, swampy area, so we're going to go and try and find it. There's a lot of people here. Nobody seems to be panicked by the presence of dangerous car driving gnomes at the moment. <laughs> but let's see. Let's just see what we can find. Because this is almost so ridiculous. It, it's, not, it's not something that you... If you if you were if you were planning on making something up, you'd at least try and make it plausible. I can come out with the world champion contending crap, but this is just I I wouldn't even think right there were these gnomes driving these cars, and they say there were like sixty of these little beings just driving around, really happy, all laughing. Did they not mention that there was some sort of malevolence to them that they wanted to actually hurt hurt people or have they, have they got some kind of demonic I hope so in all <laughs> honesty I hope they have um I can't imagine being able to not laugh whilst being attacked by a demonic gnome them stags are really impressive they are they they, they could they could quite impressively do you one as well i could take a stag on well once it realizes who the boss is not <laughs> so a number of these children say they saw approximately 30 cars cars um, each has I've got, I've got, two I've got, gnomes. I've got visions of these little, like clown cars, these little... <laughs> beep beep. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they, they, they saw approximately 30 cars. Each car had got two gnomes in it. And the encounter lasted for approximately 15 minutes. And all these gnomes did... I think they've got the speed wrong, these kids, because they say these gnome cars were chasing them round for about 15 minutes. 
Now, I don't know anybody that could outpace a 60 mile an hour small vehicle for 15 minutes or even 10 seconds. All oh, right, that would be great fun punting them as they were driving towards you, though, wouldn't it? <laughs> <laughs> so, <coughs> I suppose we'll keep his eyes peeled. I'm tempted to ask a few people if they've seen any gnomes in small cars. <laughs> here we see. Well, oh, look at that. Look at that. Look at this here. Look at this wonderful piece of merch. Urban Yeti Hunters. Completely waterproof jacket. Coming soon. So here we can see um, Wollerton Golf Club. We did actually pull in there earlier and realise... Uh, not only weren't we supposed to be in there, we're not members. No. And not likely to be. But I'm sure it's very good. Wait, wait. Does it have the logo on the front as well? Oh, yes, it does. Bobble hat's coming soon too. Urban Yeti Hunters, love it, love it. I'm getting the feeling we need to go this way. What a lovely beach. It is. It's gigantic. That would be perfect for a dwelling for gnomes. That, a, a gnome, a, it, an entire gnome community could easily live in that. Easily. Is anyone a gnome? <laughs> <laughs> oh, very good. <laughs> Right, we're heading towards the swampy area now, where the gnomes were reported all the way back in the 1970s. Yeah, I feel we're just copying out. Surely we can just cut straight through the Batman's house. Once he realises we're yeti hunters, it's, uh, it's a done deal. I'd say so. So there's actually, you're telling me earlier on that there's actually been papers written on this. Yeah, yeah, there has. There's been theorists wrote about it, folklorists and Fortians. Frank Earp, the Woolerton Gnomes, a different kind of fairy tale. Dan Green, a visit to Woolerton Park. Um, Maeve Marion, dowsing at Woolerton Park. Kate Ray, Woolerton Gnomes. The list goes on and on. So there's it's been a just, lot of yeah. There's been mass interest in so this. So it's not just a, like some kids said. It's actually been seriously studied. Yeah, yeah. By some. Wow. Well, uh, fairly... We can't get this way, can we? No. No. Go that way. There's no way wanted... we're going to do it. Fascinating. This is what I'm saying. It's so crazy that, pe that those people must have actually thought the same thing. It's so ridiculous. We've got to investigate this because who would make that up? Well, look at all the gnomes that go missing from people's gardens. The people that have gnomes anyway. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then they get photographs and postcards from all around the world that gnomes on tour. Yeah. So why is this such a ridiculous idea, I ask you? It's um, what's that in the woods? It's a gnome. No, over there. Um, the bright orange thing. Oh, it's a hut. And it's something to do with the golf club. Oh. Members only. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. The teeth on wire. I wonder, yeah. Have the gnomes damaged this fence beyond all? Recognition. Yeah. It's, um, I should imagine, we've just had a full moon. I should oh, imagine any it. being at all would be quite vicious around a full moon. All that condensed into a small gnome being, just terror, terror. If you've never been to Wollerton Park, it's definitely worth a visit. Should have bought the air horns. Just as he's about to take his shot, yeah. give it some jackass. Shoot him a gavin. Yeah. 
They're, they're a bit keen on telling you how dangerous and private this is. So if, if, a, if a golf ball was to stray, could yeah. it not get over this fence? No, it'd stop just like that bag that when they threw it. Did you see that video? Uh, was it Lady Gaga? Somebody threw a bag on stage and just stopped in mid-air. No. Have you not seen it? It's proper, I think it's a bag. <laughs> it's really weird. It was a book or a bag or something. It's really bizarre. So it, it didn't make it to the stage? It stopped dead in front of it like it hits nothing and just forced it down. She so goes like that with her hand, this thing just, somebody threw it out of the crowd. And it just goes, boom, drops to the ground. Gaga, she can she use the force. She gaga the shit out of that. Yeah. Gaga! Yeah. <laughs> Do it again, show them. Gaga! That's it, stops, stops. Let's hope it stops gnomes attacking. It's rutting season, don't forget. Don't know where gnomes are rutting season is. They'll be scheming somewhere. Oh. Look at these sticks they've left round. Oh. See? No entrance. So you're getting the same effect I got with my finger in there. Oh, yes. The no entrance. They live underground, obviously. Well, let's, let's find out. I don't know what... I, I really do find it bizarre and fascinating. Anyway, tune back in once we get to the... Uh, Gnome Central. Right. Now, did, did this thing happen at night time or was it, was oh, it just anything? Again, Ooh. I can't remember. I think it was dusk. There's an octopus in the tree. Well, if there's an octopus in the tree, right, that tells us anything could be out here. I'm starting to think now. Yeah, ink. Ink, octopus ink. Pure concentrated extract, octopus ink. Use with caution. I've actually had uh, squid ink sauce and it was very nice. Mm. It was lovely. Oh dear. Just gonna pull my vegan card out. Oh, a little tuk tuk oh, look at that. type um, vehicle. Very nice. It's squid ink. You give it up freely. Blackbird coffee. You just have to frighten them a bit and catch it. Mermaid's tail. There is a mermaid's tail, you're right. <laughs> mermaid's tears. Oh, right. We were almost at one of Carpetbagger's favourite oddities, which is the Fiji mermaid. Pop a picture of the Fiji mermaid now. Which I'm more inclined to think is an actual thing rather than the gnomes. But see if I get attacked by a gnomes, I won't believe it. Or maybe not. They're not going to attack us. Marsh gas, it could be marsh gas. Look at this little walkway thing almost. It goes straight across the... Oh yeah, look at that. It's a gnome highway. Maybe like the Brigadoon, that's how they cross into their realm. Possibly. On a full moon, that that all gets itself together. Yeah. Builds itself up. Yeah. Who knows? Who knows? Now to say they were supposed to be how many? 30 to 60? 30 vehicles. I'm not sure how you count them if they were racing no, around. Okay. Approximately 30 vehicles. Each had two gnomes inside. Right, okay. So 60 gnomes. Now, how many birds do we think are there? Uh, at a glance. 30. Yeah. I can go with that, 30. Maybe, maybe, I don't know. Pause the video, count them. That's, oh, what I meant to say was pause your video, the one you're watching now, 
and count the birds. Let's have another guessing, little look at I'm the birds. I'm guessing that um, gnomes are a fair bit bigger, probably as big as a swan. I wouldn't have said they're as big as a swan. But if there's 60 Maybe of those, a swan got without its neck. neck. I can't Fairly believe I'm actually to live. trying to imagine how big gnomes are. Seeing as they live in the park, could they be considered gnomeless? Um, stop it. Intense tool um, conversation going on there. Yeah. Tools should always be given priority, especially if they're powered. Absolutely. See these kids. Now this bit's gated off. It's all yeah, yeah. Up. These deer kids said they were in a restricted area. area. They shouldn't have really been in there. You see. And this is where they've ripped these bits out with the bare hands. Deer conservation area. Look, look, they've ripped all this out. Really? Is it? Should that say gnome conservation area? Conservation, not even. What did I say then? No, Consummation? No, no, no. I didn't say that, did I? Conversation. I'm going to go back and do that again. Do it again. After so, three. Three. So this is a deer conservation area. Or could it be a gnome conservation area? Look, it's even a little bit swampy. Lots of tree cover, so they couldn't be spotted from <laughs> the air. Be no good bringing a uh, drone here. Maybe they've got. They, maybe they've got all high tech, nice and stealthy. They've got known drones. I'd say they're high tech anyway. If they Pretty were much. racing around in small vehicles with no engines or steering wheels, doing around about fifty or sixty miles an hour. Are there That's any gnomes in here? Very strange. Or playing in the, like we used to when we were kids in the rhododendrons. Let's have a look in here, look. Rhododendron. It's a great habitat, but it'd be quite leaky if it were raining. As we can see, there's nothing there. Okay. Let's see what Brother Mark's found. We've ever seen a gnome hiding place. That is one. That's one. Right. Hold that. I'm going in. Oh, take, take it. Me going in, then I can take it. Okay. We come in peace. We are friendly humans. Yes, we're known friendly. friendly. See your cars. This area may have been set up for gnoming. access to the lake there yeah for the little known boats because if they've got cars they're gonna have boats aren't yeah. they i bet they can water ski what's that it's a duck <sighs> thought we we're onto one then little gnome trip thing trap a gnome trap <laughs> in fact a human trap
gotta say I'm loving that Urban Yeti Hunter jacket. Sorry? Gotta say I'm loving the Urban Yeti Hunter jacket. Well, thanks. You too could own one. Oh, it's soon. been all that way and I've just caught a web on the way out. Oh, it's a scunner, man. So, no signs of any yet. I think they're going to be in there. It does seem to be the favourite. But I'm not getting rutted upon just to find small people with hats, beards and cars. Maybe that's why we're not seeing them. For fear of getting a, a bloody good rutting. And they're only tiny. Exactly, yeah. But you get like three on each one on each of his shoulders, they'll soon get up to head height and just yeah. be able to attack you. <laughs> now, what we've got here? Oh, Some gnome carvings. We've not even got that. I, I think if it's so mysterious and it's been written about all this and that. You'd think there'd be something uh, somewhere like a little monument or a carving, maybe like these. Yeah. Why are they not making more of this? It's solid gold, I'm afraid. It is. They yeah. are missing a golden opportunity. Have you seen any gnomes? Don't know, if that, if that caught you, you wandered off quite a way there, but I don't know if it's the, uh, the new wireless mics, by the way, guys, yeah, <laughs> for sure, check them out. Yeah, links in the description. Yeah. We're learning as we go. We know the, we the, the earlier videos, um, sometimes the sound was a bit dropping in and dropping out. So I decided to invest in some rather cool wireless microphones. Which should. Oh, now then. Yeah, 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 definitely. Look at that, looks like a little gnome ladder. <laughs> see anything? I can't see anything. I'm starting to wish I'd bought some binoculars. Binoculars? Binoculars. I think we might look a bit suspect. They're all part of the investigation kit. I know, but there's so many... <coughs> You've got binoculars, man. you got binoculars. I'm not walking around with nothing on. Crazy. Especially in these temperatures. Chap could lose his bearings in weather like this. Look at where they've upended this tree. Yeah. That's how angry they can get. Look at the size of that tree. And they've upended it. Chopped it up as well. Yeah. They're not going to freeze. They don't care what Russia's doing. Well, they can just disappear. Yeah. So I think for this video, we're just going to leave it live. We're not going to do a lot of editing. We're going to do a bit, obviously. But um, for the most part, we're just looking to see what we can see. And if you guys see anything in the video, give us a shout and let us know. Yeah, because there's that other... Keep other, it clean, please. There's that other YouTuber 
that regularly spots like pixies and stuff and fairy folk. Oh, he's great. He's a, oh, I can't think of his name. Um, he is terrific, though. It is, his channel is just the best. Obviously not as good as ours. Any gnome activity. What if they can swim and they live underwater? What? Possibly. They may have dwellings underwater, a bit like a um, beaver would. Well, they may just uh, take a little. What if this is a fortified here? gnome zone? Respect our lake and our gnomes. No fishing, no swimming, no boats. Blue green algae, lovely. It looks very clear at the minute. All right, though. No. Hey! hey. hey. <laughs> oh, look at this here. Gnome Central, definitely. Yeah, so if you see anything, hear anything, point it out. If you've got any tales of weirdness, and this is really, for me, this is one of the weirdest ones yet. Yeah, so that's obviously a track going up there. What made that track? Um, I don't deer, know. Deer. Gnomes. No, oh, okay. Could have been a deer. Or gnomes. Or gnomes. It could have been gnomes, yeah. This could be like the gnome... Now um, this is a runoff. Off-roading course. It's a runoff, but a runoff for water and when it's dry, a gnome hiding place. Oh, look at that. The, the, in that bank, them, that embankment's down yeah. there. Yeah. That, that could easily be um, dug, it, dug into. And, uh... Like a gnome burrow? Yeah. Squirrel. See him. No, he's gone. And just like that, you see, it <laughs> wouldn't be that difficult to disappear in there if you were small enough. No, it wouldn't. Although, if you've got a bright blue trousers type dungaree type thing on and a bright red pointy hat, I think I'll be able to spot you. Yeah. Squirrel! Squirrel! <laughs> oh, it comes back to open season. It's a classic. It is great. Oh, no oh, bridge there. Then. Known bridge over that runoff. There. They could be anywhere. I bet they're staring at us right now. It's possible. But this is the all the restricted area. Um, it's quite a big restricted area, so it could uh, won't only be for deer because there's lots of room. And you've just dropped... That's a donation to the gnome call. It's just dropped 20p. 20p. To the gnome... So what we're going to look at now... The, where is it? Is there, look. Pay? Oh, yes, there it is. So I'm just looking down here. And it is quite a heavily wooded area. I don't know if you can pick that up on the camera. Not but really. We've got the lake behind us. There's the lake. And then there's We're lots of woodland. Blue dot is. 
Uh, I think we should get in touch with Google and make that blue dot say UYH, Urban Yeti Hunters. <laughs> it is quite a, an expansive woodland. It's, uh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, you imagine being four times smaller than we are, that's a massive area. I can only dream of being four times smaller than I am. <laughs> It's very nice, I've got to say. It is lovely. But the gnomes continue to be elusive. Oh, the man with the very, very fancy camera has spotted something in the tree. Is it a gnome? Is it a gnome? Hello. Morning. Some small, small homesteads. Yeah, definitely. Another tree that they've upended yeah. a lot. Oh, that took some upending. Morning. Not bad, are you? What we spotted? Oh, yeah, I can see him now. Is it alright? Yeah. not to be confused with gnomes. Bird box down there. Or a quick hideaway for a gnome. Looks a bit small for a gnome though, but I'm not sure they fit uh, in there. No, that's where, that's where store, store supplies. Not unless it's covering over an interdimensional portal. That's where the, the uh, store supplies while they're out foraging. Uh, quite a few uh, <laughs> rather large houses. Yes. Okay. No, we weren't. We are recording. And we're recording now. Are we recording now? Right now. Very good. What about now? Still. Oh. As we speak. That's excellent. Yeah. Look. Oh. Could that be a gnome gateway? Can you see it, people? Can you see it? Come on, gnomes. Obscured by this tree. How rich we would be if we spotted you. There, look. Mm. Still an interesting subject, particularly that it's been looked at by academics and the like. Yeah. Um, which I find staggering. But um, now but, this looks promising. There's lots of folklore though, isn't there? Dating back hundreds of years. Oh, there is. Which could potentially, like the Brothers Grimm stories. There's, there's, there's all kinds. You've only got to look at things like the legend of Sleepy Hollow. Now then. The gnomes of Woolerton Park. Straight away. You see that and you think, gnomes, gnomes, reported gnomes. Are you serious? Well, yeah, they were. Many would dismiss it. Not us. Uh, Got to be worth investigating. Not sure what, I know it's a bridge, but I don't know what these look, are for. Look at another gnome hole. They've even ripped a few bricks out to be able to get in. Shall 
you would imagine maybe some sort of boat store once upon a time. Well, it's always good that some morons have put graffiti on. They just cannot leave it. Yeah. Get some paper. And you are a moron if you've done that. I'm sorry. No, I'm not sorry. You are a moron. I'm sorry that they are morons. I'm not. I blame the moron parents. Oh, is he? We've gone off track. Gnomes. In more ways than one. Gnomes don't behave like that. No nonsense with them. No nonsense at all, no. Chasey, <gasps> oh, wow. chasey, squirrel, chasey, chasey. Wow. They're having a right chase, they were. Weren't they just? Where did you go? I saw you drop. My favourite little ditch bird of Robin. Where is said Robin? He just went. This is bosh. I stopped. Bobbin. Bobbin along. I do love the Robin. A lot of folks here now and the mist lifted somewhat. Yeah. How did we get here? About half past nine? Maybe somewhere around there. Is there any way else where the reports of these gnomes, or is it just here in the world? In the world. That's got to be worth looking into. And I think when we get back to the isolation station, we're going to take a look into that. I think we should. This is, it, I, it, I find it ridiculously over the top that somebody would say that, but if there are reports from elsewhere, I am very prepared to look into it. Yeah, you can see it's the kind of place that's so busy. I don't think gnomes is frequent here very often, to be honest. It must, must have been in the late evening. It's got to have been. Maybe they're nocturnal. Maybe they're hibernating. Maybe. Another classic song. I don't really want to know. Oh. <laughs> hey. There's lots more where that came from. Just prompt me and I'm off. Yep. Because nobody does it better. Nobody does <laughs> Makes me feel sad He's for still going. the rest Still at it Plenty of rhododendron cover here There is a lot I bet when it's all in bloom it looks marvellous Yep. Maybe it should be in bloom and the gnomes have had all the flowers. Yep. Well, no, that's come as you are. Which one's in bloom? Oh, oh, yeah, I feel, I feel ashamed, yeah. almost. Anyway, it's a song. By one of the greatest bands ever. Ever. It's knobbly bobbly man, eh? Oh, yeah. With a skull in its face. Huh? 
looking out at you. It's cool. See it. Amazing. I don't know if you can change the backlight on it. Uh, come on, we've got gnomes to find. Maybe that's a marker. <laughs> Maybe it is. Yeah. Oh, so glad somebody's let the dog poo just there that I nearly got in a mess with. Oh dear. Thank you very much. Trying to picking it up. All these little magical fairy folk type areas we've it got. Is, it is rife. It's just, I mean, it's perfect habitat for the fey folk and all that. It's just... And we're not anybody to say that these things don't exist. No, I'm not saying that at all. I'm just saying I, I really do find it hard to swallow. Very but... deep belief in various uh, first world countries all over the world. One thing that one should that never fairies do. do exist. Yeah. One thing that someone should never do is deny somebody else's reality. Yeah. Because it's their reality. It's not your place to say it's not. Right on. And that's enough for today, brother. Power to the people. <laughs> Freedom for tooting. Rock on. <laughs> Bocco. Right on. <laughs> yeah. See, look. <laughs> oh. Look, 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 look at all that fern there. Straight yeah. in there, disappeared, Perfect. haven't they? Perfect. Underground. Overground, one balloon free. The one buzz of wind, but the common are we. They're the gnomes of Wollaton Park, though. <laughs> I tell you what, though, kiddo. I've not seen There's any no rubbish. mess. There's no rubbish, <laughs> is there? No, no. rubbish. I think we may be venturing into... You're very concerned about this rutting business, yes, aren't you? Yes, I am. I'm yeah. just trying to see these gnome inroads here. Look, just straight... <laughs> and we're recording. Blimey, how far have we walk? I don't know, you know. So it's not a bad way, that. We circumnavigated that uh, their lake. We have, apart from the restricted area, because we're respectful and one should never go into restricted areas, no matter what it says it's restricted for. I don't know, I'm getting fairly desperate to find these gnomes. You're getting itchy. Getting itchy. You're getting I feel no Mitch. feel like I uh, no Mitch. Is that what they said when they sacked Hasselhoff from uh, Baywatch? Yeah, no Mitch. <laughs> <laughs> well... Anyway, we've gone the whole way around the lake. We have. Some interesting gnome diggings here. Yep. All things that deer have done. Now, if I can't do that with my foot. So if that... You're not a gnome. No, but if that deer can do that to that, yeah. what can it do to me? Well, you know, it can... Um... Oh, it's the golf course again. Golf course. Jackie oh, and the boys, there we go. Fobo. Fobo. There goes Fobo, teeing off. There it goes. A beautiful swing. <sighs> oh, look at these uh, <laughs> interesting Ooh. funguses, fungi. Just like us. Mrs. Urban Yeti Hunter will know what these are. She Would you like me to tell you what these are? Have you got the app? Because we're looking at doing a foraging course at some point. It's a local forage for local people. Of course. Oh, yes, look at these. I'm going to tell you what these are. So these, that's a big one of them. That's a horse's hoof. All right. I'm finding out. I knew what it was. It's actually an artist's bracket. No, it's a horse's hoof. Google says differently. That's Google's wrong. What's that one then? 
They grow in our back garden and they are not edible. Please don't eat them. Uh, there are several that look like that that are edible. These are not, I can assure you, and they tend to grow where there's dead wood. They are ah, sulfur tuft. Sulfur tuft. Straight away tells me to stay away from them. Danger, danger, high voltage. He's off again. When we touch, <laughs> when we kiss. It's not, only, it's not our videos aren't just a, a journey through uh, the fabulous and mysterious, it's also a musical history lesson. Top 40 through the ages. Uh, at least if you're still watching that, well done, because if you're not enjoying my ramblings, just watch one of our other videos. In fact, watch them all again. We also ramble on them. Ooh, ramble on! <laughs> Bleds out. Rumble yeah. on. Yeah, I see. Yeah, yeah. You're on it again, aren't you? There's no stopping me. Don't stop him now. Guess I'm having such a good time. I'm looking for nose. <laughs> There's no more excuse not to find one, really. Hey. We haven't, though, have we? We've not found any. We haven't, but we've been to Ground Zero, Gnome, Gnome Central, yeah. Ground Zero. Yeah, but... Not saying there aren't any, but it is busy. It is busy. It'd scare any small being off, really, wouldn't it? And the park does Unless... close, so you can't get in of an evening yeah. during the autumn or winter. Yeah. Doesn't scare off large deer, geese, or... Crows slash no, and it's jackals. a lesson for us all that they all seem to cohabit quite happily. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Why can't we all just get along? Hey, why can't we? It's very cool. It is. It's a museum inside, people. So there's all sorts. Of, and once you uh, pay to park, it is free. This is quite good. Yeah, they do have a lot of um, old. Relics and antiquities in there. Stuffed animals, that sort of thing. Butterflies on pins. All kinds of things. When I was a kid, I had a, uh, an ant farm, a huge ant farm under a big dome, and it was fascinating to watch that. But that's not why we're here. We're looking for gnomes. And I was hoping it was going to be open for some gnome inquiries, but it doesn't seem to be. Doesn't seem to be. No. Let's go that way. Let's go that way. Could be in amongst these leaves and stuff. Well, how tall did it say they were? Did it? it didn't really say in that report that I read. But if it was only, I mean, if, if when you when you when you're a kid, everything's tall if it's taller than you. Yeah. So maybe I, I'm I'm hoping they kind of regular gnome size and they've got our fishing rods that's why they're down the lake fishing rods a uh, little knapsack yeah um, maybe a lantern a cheese and pickle sandwich oh yes you see i don't i don't really like pickle i'm not naming the popular brand but i don't really like pickle i much prefer brown sauce what branston do you mean branston i'm not I no like it branston if branston would like to send me some branston that would be wonderful branston well, thank you, Branston. I don't think it could be the Urban Yeti Hunters' choice because there's only half of the Urban Yeti Hunters team. Oh, it's survival in the jar. Mm. Yeah. Shall we have a look around so the shop? See if they've got any yetiness. See if they've got any gnomes. Not yomes, they're completely <laughs> different things. Oh, we've got a machine that crosses bits of copper. Cafe? Shop? Morning. Morning. Strange question, or maybe not a strange question. We're looking for any information anyone's got on these reported gnomes that were supposedly seen here in the 70s down at the lake. Gnomes, yeah, do you not read about that? No? Oh, crikey. 
Yeah, we, we, we found out the other week, there's actually been some people. We found lots of we've, we, we YouTube, We've though. got a YouTube channel. And we investigate all the strangeness and stuff locally. So, um, I've not asked so, this person yeah. if we can I'm film good. them. So, hello. Have you got a sec? I have, yeah. You just, uh, Are you all right on camera? Because you don't have to be, that's fine. That's fine, we can keep it away. Yeah. Um, do you want to elaborate on the gnomes? Yeah, so in 1979, in September in 1979, uh, half a dozen primary school children reported to the police that they saw 30 vehicles, cars they described yeah, them as, got little cars as well. in the grounds of Wollerton Park, and that each car didn't make a noise, no steering wheel or anything that they could see visible, but each car contained two gnome-like creatures people beings now lots and lots of people have written about this so i'm quite surprised that you don't know about it it's really strange we can admit that but hey well i've lived around here all my life and up until the other week i've never heard of it and it's a big deal apparently yeah worldwide there's people particularly yeah. in the states seem to be quite interested in it but then again they've probably never been here so yeah we've come to have a look around see if we can find any gnomes <laughs> if we find some we'll let you know so the, the youtube channel is the urban yeti hunters hence the, the yeah and we look at all all, all strange strange things so uh, yeah all right thank you drew a blank there Ooh. <sighs> I think what's going on there is they're employing people that have... Keep have, it under wraps. Keep it under wraps, yeah. Yeah. MI6. She's, she's clearly got some fedness about her. <laughs> <laughs> no, she's very, she very helpful. She seemed really interested and amazed. Yeah. As was I. Bewildered. Yeah. Or perhaps a little bit scared that two well, grown is, men are asking her if we've seen any gnomes. Pretty nice. Well, is that, is that strange? 50 something and a 40 something asking you about gnomes. Well, now there's a photographer here I've seen wandering around. I think he's probably looking for gnomes. I think he's probably here for Remembrance Sunday, but you know, you never know. <sighs> Such a Look, this is probably sport. the only one of all the videos we've done where I'm totally. Not only skeptical, skeptical I'm, I'm bordering on complete and utter nonsense. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Why though? <laughs> oh, hang on. Deer rutting season. That's an official warning. You don't come much more official than red and white signs. Resting deer. Oh, they need to do a bit of resting, have a bit of rutting. Ooh. They're up for a rut and rest. There's nothing like... That's what R&R &R stands for. A post-rut rest. <laughs> oh, and there's loads of deer down there, but yeah. we are not going to see them, as I may be rutted upon. They're... Um, oh, the single ladies. Oh, the single ladies. That's them. Not... Here we oh, go. <laughs> Off again. I can't help it. My head's full of music. I'm a DJ. DJ Marky Lang, Second rate 69. But I like it. Morning. Regardless of whether we find any gnomes or not, it is a very pleasant walk. It's a bloody good walk. Bloody marvellous. Oh, no, we can't go up there, dude. Where? It's, it's full of deer. Oh, dear me. Deer, oh, dear. Oh. We're going to have to row this way. Dude, I think the geese. What? I think the geese. The the, the big geese? Are they, you sure? Look like them. Are they geese over there? Or the single ladies? All the single ladies have. Maybe they're the single lady geese. Well, that was interesting. Are you still recording? I'm still recording. Excellent. Got the voices then. Yes. Super. Well, get the lowdown. Let's, let's listen to the lowdown here. So, she just kind of shook her head a bit and... She didn't dismiss it. She said, ah. I've never seen them. <laughs> ah. Well, she said, I've never seen anything. But uh, 
she kind of nodded like she she did know about them. Definitely. So, yeah. But, uh, let's get everybody a good, nice image of uh, Wayne Manor. Let's. Because it would be it would be remiss of us to come here, which is not far from where we live. But it would be remiss of us to leave this out, especially for anyone that's nowhere near and huge Batman fans. Strange, dead-looking tree here, which is taking me back to our alien find. That's because it's been drinking tenants. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'm, I'm very wary of dead brush nowadays. Yeah, that's cedar, that one, isn't it? That cedar tree it is, I'm sure. Let's have a look. I bet it is. Magnificent. We've got, I mean, the... it's gigantic, yeah. is what it is. But then when you consider that the redwoods are between two and three hundred feet tall, that just makes these look little. It's but a sapling. Just a wee stick. Can we get up to you? We can. I'm sure we can. We are yeti hunters after all. Yeti Access hunters. Access all areas kind of yep. thing, you know what I mean? There we go. Wayne Manor. I mean, looking at this place, we are searching for a needle in a haystack. Or... A gnome in a stately home. A gnome in a home. Like just like Elf on a Shelf. Wayne Manor. I bet this took a while to build, you know. I bet it did. I want to fancy going my fingers fast in between them blocks. No, this isn't the front door. No. This is the tradesman's entrance, obviously. Well, it's, it's, just, it's just a shoddy state. Anyway, we are digressing. We are. We came here today to find the elusive, definitely elusive. Very elusive. Wollaton Park gnomes. Almost too elusive. They were too elusive. Too elusive gnomes. There are more than two. There's apparently the 60 plus. Yeah. 30 uh, vehicles, which, you know, we haven't found any evidence of. Who are well protected. Honesty. Well protected gnomes, because this is where Batman lives. Yep. Maybe the bat helpers. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe. But it was a very nice place, a very nice walk, and a very intriguing story, I think you'll agree. Um, and we, we saw some stags. We, we did see some stags. And uh, there's an area that's particularly well fortified for rutting deer. There is. Str but, strangely, I, I have been asking people about these gnomes, a couple had heard about it, but we went into a, the bric a -back shop. We've got like a shop that sells all kinds of second-hand stuff here. And uh, the lady that was in there, <coughs> she, I mentioned about the YouTube channel and the gnomes. And she was, she said, I've heard something about that. She said, I've never seen anything in all my years that I've been working here. She says, but I have heard about the gnomes. She says, a long time ago. I said, yeah, 1979. She says, that's right, that's right. I've never seen anything, but what I have seen, I've seen um, spirits and, and ghosts and really strange things walking around the grounds and inside the house. So maybe that's a video for another day. We'll try and get inside and, and we'll come back to Wallet and we'll do a bit of a, a ghosty hunty type thing in there in the, in the day while it's open. That'll be good. Uh, while the kiddies are at school. Yeah, no school trips. So there'll be no school trips or anything like that? No. Yeah. Yeah. All good. So anyway, I we don't want any interference with the ghosting. The mojo, man. Yeah. yeah, yeah. The ghost mojo. Ghost Joe. The ghost Joe. So anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, if we do find anything else or we do have any updates, we'll post them in another video. Uh, maybe we're going to try YouTube Shorts to give you a little update. We'll see how that goes. Um, in the meantime, like, subscribe and share. And comment. Comment, please. Yes, your comments are more than welcome. Anyway, thank you very much. This has been great. Don't forget to follow us on all the socials. Socials. We'll be socialing this. Yeah. Catch you later. Ta-ta. Bye.